Hey guys, it is Shirley and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So it is Saturday and as you see all of this money that is laid out, we are going to be stuffing our envelopes because we got paid this week. So if you are new to my channel, we are going to be going over the bills that I'm going to be paying and the amount. We're going to go over the cash envelopes. We're going to stuff those and we're going to be stuffing our sinking fund. So it's a very exciting week every other week whenever we get to stuff our paycheck. Now this paycheck is going to all include my paycheck ebay and i actually did sell some egg rolls so some of that is going to be in there but it's mainly going to be ebay and also my paycheck so let's just get straight into this video if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button i do these kind of videos every single other week when we get paid on bi-weekly schedule on tuesdays i do money challenges and on saturdays is all up in the air i might do a vlog i might do a debt update there is so much stuff that i could be doing so you're just going to have to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification so every time i upload you will be notified so let's get right into it so for bills this week we are going to be paying for the house. It's going to be $218. Car will get $0 right now because I kind of did a little splurge. <laughs> I traded in my car, which was a 2016 Corolla. Absolutely love it and everything, but my dream non-luxury car is a forerunner i wanted it so bad um this car was a lease my lease was almost up so i was like well might as well i really want to get my dream car and be proud of it and do a buy to own so that's what i did i bit the dust i traded in my car and they gave me a really good um, down payment for it and or trade in value so I traded in for a 2022 forerunner yes the car payments will be expensive but I plan it was like 600 and something dollars but I plan on actually just putting 800 dollars in the car because I want to you know pay it off as much as possible but also paying off my debt so that's why we're not putting anything in paycheck number one. Um, I don't owe, owe a payment until July 25th. So we're going to skip this week. But on paycheck number two, we are going to be putting the money towards that. So we have a bye week on that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. I'm very proud. I was actually a little teary-eyed when I was driving off because I just felt so accomplished um, with my work and everything that I myself in my life can afford something super nice for myself and I was just super proud it was like a really 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 proud moment for myself a lot of people probably won't agree somebody probably said why did you you know trade it in the economy is bad gas is going to be sucking that vehicle is going to be sucking your gas yes I know but you know I'm a budgeter I can budget money and learn how to budget my gas bill and everything so it too has, shall pass is my quote for that. It too shall pass. The gases are not going to go up forever. Hopefully, um, it'll go down. But who knows? I'm just going to, you know, do what I do, do budgeting, and we're going to figure it out from there. So, yeah. So, I bought a car. And it's the best decision I have ever made. <laughs> All right. So, moving on phone we are doing fifty dollars and i'm going to put a t t means that it has been transferred and then p means that it has paid so i did pay the house note um the house note is usually due on the first but i have a 17 day grace period so we do the last paycheck of the month and the first paycheck of the month um and we go ahead and pay that off so last payment last paycheck of the previous month and then the first pay paycheck of the next month and then the car is probably just going to do like we always do phone was transferred insurance is going to be fifty dollars 
Now, I did transfer that. Um, I got off my mom's insurance, but I still have to pay for that month since it is the middle of the month. So I will have to pay $100 extra for that. And then Jared put me on his insurance, which is only $75. Um, and that started this month, so I do have to pay the $75 this month. So our insurance are going to be a little bit higher, so I'm going to have to pay $175. For insurance this month and then next month will be just $75 Disney card I put $87 Disney card is just my chase um, credit card and it's just a Disney card because I earn points for Disney and you know I go to Disney every year so it's beneficial for us Capital One is going to get $184 I do not have a payment but this is just an extra debt payment so that's $184 Light bill is not going to be getting anything this week. We will start that back up next week. So we're going to go ahead and add up our total. So 218 plus 50 plus 50 plus 87 plus 184. So that is $589. So that is how much our bills are this paycheck. Now, moving on to the weekly check-in. So, the weekly check-in, it goes with my cash envelope. So, I have categories. I have food, gas, fund money, cushion, and sinking funds. So, we can go ahead and do the cushion. So, cushion is going to be getting $300. So, I'm going to go ahead and just write $300. Food is going to be getting $100. Gas, we're going to try $100, but it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably going to have to do like $120 or 160 because I'm to fill up my tank, it's like $82. But usually I do not let my tank go past half a tank. So if it's $82, I can probably do $40 a week. I don't know. We'll, we're going to play it by ear, so we're going to start with $100. Um, we might have to bump it up to like 120, 130, which is fine. I do have enough so I could take it from the cushion fund. You know, I don't need $300 to spend just for cushion, but we'll see. And then fund money is going to be getting $100 as well. So we're going to go ahead and grab my little black notebook and we are going to go ahead and stuff our cash envelopes. So I do have a little bit of money left over and these money this money from the cash envelopes is going to be going towards the money challenges so fingers crossed that we are going to be completing a money challenge next week on tuesday so you want to subscribe to my channel so you will know if i completed it or not so for groceries we have five ten ten dollars left over and we are going to be putting a hundred dollars so 20 40 60 80 and one so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. And that is going in groceries. And these envelopes are from Cali Budgets. I do have some more that is going to be coming in that's going to finish off my sinking funds. But it's going to take a little while. So I don't think it's going to come in until probably the end of June or the beginning of July. So gas is going to get $100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, one, 20, 40, 60, 81. And that is going to be going gas, and we do not have anything in there. Fun money, I have $5 left, so we're going to set that aside, and that's going to be going towards our $5 challenge. And then fun money is going to be getting $100 as well. So one, two, three, four, and five. And that is going to be going into fun money. And that is it for the cash envelopes. Now moving on to our sinking funds. I'm going to try to fix all that. Okay, so that is our debt tracker. We're going to go to our sinking funds. So this is our balance from last paycheck, which I took out money from medical. I took out money from car maintenance. I took out money from special occasion. So it's probably going to be less than what it is now, which is totally fine. Like that's, that's why sinking funds are here. So we can pay for the unexpected things. 
So medical is going to be getting $40. And this is all going to be plus. Car maintenance is going to be $35. Renewals is going to be getting $20. Special occasion is going to be getting $20. House is not going to be getting anything. Vacation is going to be getting a hundred dollars. Christmas is going to be getting a dollar. Beauty is going to be getting eight dollars. Dobby is going to be getting forty dollars. And then taxes, which we are going to be putting taxes towards eBay is going to be getting $20 because eBay, I only earned $100. I did not upload anything from um, for eBay in the month of May because I wanted to get rid of some of my inventory. So that is why it's a little bit lower on the end because I was trying to get a lot of stuff um, sold before I uploaded some more items. Um, if you're interested in my eBay, it's going to be linked down below as always. So let's go ahead and get it ready. So taxes, I'm going to go ahead and do just do taxes. So YouTube taxes, I only take taxes out of my YouTube channel whenever I get paid for that. And also for eBay. And yeah, that's about it. So those are the two main things that I do um, save for YouTube taxes. I have not been able to pay it. I'm very grateful that I don't have to pay any taxes for the last couple of years that I've been doing this. Um, eBay might be a little bit different because I have made a lot of money on there. Not a lot, maybe like $1,500, $2,000 since January. So we're going to figure that out at the end of the year. So we are going to be putting $20. So that is $50, $100. And then 20, 25, 30, and 31. So we have $131. And that is for taxes. So we're just going to write it right here. $131. Moving on to medical. So medical is going to be getting $40. I'm trying to get my envelopes out. So medical is going to be getting $40. Oof, they have the 52. I'm going to have to change this 50. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, and 93. So $93. And I had to spend a hundred and ninety dollars at the doctor the other day, which was rough, <laughs> but it's okay. Car maintenance is going to be getting thirty-five dollars. They're getting the twenty, thirty, the Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, and thirty-five. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and one hundred. So one hundred dollars is in car maintenance. And I did get the warranty and all that because I don't want to have problems with my car. I did get free oil change, free tire rotations. Um, I do get like a free paint job that they are offering for my car for up to, I think, two years, I think. And which that already values at $1,000 every 5,000 miles that they touch up my paint. So that's free. So that's good. Um, but... You know, a lot of people don't get the extended warranty. I get it. I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, if I have it in my budget that I can do it, then I'm going to do it. Because I think it's worth, it's worth it for me. But anyways, so yeah. So we're just going to build this up. Since I have free uh, tire rotation and free car maintenance, it's either up to seven years versus, or 
um, up to 100,000 miles. So whichever one comes first. So we're just going to bump this up, continually to bump this up. So that's what we're going to do. Renewal is going to be getting $20. Now I'm going to have to get a car registration, new tag, all that stuff. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 21, 22, and 23. So we have one, 23. Next up is gonna be special occasion. Now special occasion, this is the last week that I'm going to keep bumping this up as always. Um, my best friend is getting married this weekend and this coming up weekend and I'm super excited so I don't have to aggressively fill this up. So the special occasion after this wedding is going to be going towards like birthdays or anything like that. So that is what we're going to be doing like birthdays, special dinners, anything like that. So that is what special occasion is going to be used for after this wedding next weekend. So I put $20 already in there. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80. A1, A2, A3, A4, and 85. So we have $85. And I had to spend $35 on my alterations. Next is going to be vacation. Now vacation, I did deposit the $500 and we are about to hit another $500. So we have $100 that we're going to be putting in and we're going to count this. So we have 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 40, 60, 80, um, that's 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, so that's 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95. So we have $95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 500. So $1,095 is how much we have so far for vacation, which is super, super exciting for us. Okay, and I'm just gonna slide y'all over. Next up is home, and home is not going to be getting anything this paycheck. So we have 20, 25, and 120, and 25 for home. And that is mainly for our HOA fee, which I should start bumping this up for like any renovations or anything like that that we want to save up. Christmas is not going to get really anything, it's going to be getting $1. And that is 20, 25, 26, and 27. So 27, and then we have $500 from Ibotta. So $527 is how much we have. And Christmas is fully funded. I'm just putting like very little money every paycheck. So because $500 is my limit for this year. Beauty is going to be getting $8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And beauty is going to be getting, it's going to be used up for the wedding. So it's going to be the hair and the makeup. So what I use for the special occasion, I'm going to try to use that first. And then after that, I will use the beauty if I have to. If not, then we have beauty. I can go buy makeup hair stuff, hair shampoo, anything like that after that. So beauty is definitely going to be going towards actual beauty stuff um, after the wedding. So super excited to get back to normal for my beauty. And I don't have to stuff that aggressively either. So I can just do like $5, $10 here or there and they'll just add up. So like I said, we put $8 in, so we should have $100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So we have $100. For sure I have to have $65 to get my hair and my makeup done. And then plus tip. 
so that is a hundred dollars and then next is Dobby. Now Dobby is going to be going to the groomers. We're going to try this new groomers where I don't even have to drive somewhere to the groomers. They come to me. So it's like a mobile grooming service. It's a little bit more expensive. But if he does it better with that, like getting a bath, which he's fine with that, is mostly the nail trim. And plus the groomers that I use right now is like an hour away because yeah, <laughs> they're really good. So we're going to try this mobile one and maybe, maybe he'll like it. And they straight up, they just come to my house and they pick the dog up, walk to their little bus thing that they have and they do what they got to do for two to three hours. I could peek through the window if I want to, but I'm probably not going to because I'll be like freaks out and like, is very excited so I want them to do what they want what they can um, but yeah so this money is probably gonna go away as well <laughs> 20 40 60 80 1 20 26 and 27 so 127 and that should actually be enough and then after that I think I'm going to be on a four to six rotation with the dog groomers if I do like them so the next step for Dobby is to get neutered. So that's going to be very, very fun for us and for him especially. So what we're going to do, that is it for the sinking funds. And we're just going to quickly do the total and then I'll just let y'all go. So then y'all can just, you know, think about everything that I've said to you guys. Think of ways that you're going to be saving this week and everything else. So 93, 100, 123. 85, 10, 95, 125, 527, 100, and 127. So we have $2,375, which is pretty much correct. Now, if there's anything that I like messed up or anything, please let me know because I really enjoy getting y'all's feedback on this. And if I miss something that just call me out on it, you guys. But anyway, so that is it, you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for everything you have done. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then I will see you guys on Tuesday for a money challenge. And hopefully we will complete a money challenge. Hit a milestone. I am so excited for this. But anyways, I love you guys. And I will see you guys later. Bye.